Hallo meine Freunde und ich bin heute checking out an interesting topic that I've, very, I've been curious about for a very long time. Now I'm going to preface this video by saying um, there is going to be an incredible lag on this computer because my laptop is acting crazy. I don't know why, but it is. And we're just going to have to deal with that. Um, but basically the ambulance difference between the US and uh, Germany. Uh, there are apparently some differences in the Krankenwagen um, for, you know, the U.S. versus Germany. I want to get into this. I want to kind of see what those differences are. And I did find a video. It's not very long, but I did find another video. Um, and it's a lot, it's a little bit longer, but this one seemed to have like, I don't know, I, I, it had letters and stuff in it and whatever. So I feel like they can tell us what we need to know in a short period of time. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out, dive nose deep and see exactly what we're getting into. If you guys disagree with any of the things they're saying here in the video too, let me know. I'm very curious. I'm still learning. I'm planning on traveling out to Germany this August. Um, and uh, hopefully everything works out. But enough of me. Let's go ahead and get in this thing and see exactly what we're working with, man. In Germany, they pay a maximum of $12 for an ambulance ride. Okay. Whoa. A maximum of $12 for an ambulance ride, bro? Do you know how expensive it is here in the States to like, take an ambulance an ambulance anywhere if you get if you get like um injured shot at stabbed anything like anything crazy where you get injured right you and you have to use an ambulance if an ambulance comes to pick you up you might as well like fight them off because that bill is going to be something fierce fierce like you do not want to mess with them bro. And in cases of emergency their health care system covers 100 percent of it Oh no, not in America, bruh. Not in America, dog. Nope, 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 nope. That does not happen here, unfortunately. If you get injured, you are subject to taking care of your own uh, transportation related medical bill, which is the ambulance. That comes out of your pocket. <laughs> it's so crazy because a lot of health insurance companies won't cover an ambulance, uh, you know. Uh, expense it, it's normally up to the person who was picked up by the ambulance which is so messed up if you think about it it's like oh we, we why, why do you why do we do what we do why are we like why do emts do what they do what do the ambulance drivers do what they do oh it's to help people but bro like low key it would be more helpful to just avoid the ambulance altogether take an uber or something dog like that's oh god free while in america meanwhile in america i'll tell you via ambulance and charged eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars for an ambulance trip i promise you i promise you it's not worth it i promise you it's not worth it and i feel like their 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 excuse is well we have all that medical equipment on board that keeps you alive and blah 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 yeah but bruh oh my eight thousand dollars is ridiculous like Oh, bruh, if they were going to charge anybody, a few hundred would be, you know, that would be a lot easier to manage than $8,000, yo. Like, that is insane. That isn't, yo, G Germany, there are some pros, there are some pros and cons to both of our countries. Like, there's some pros to America, there's some pros to Germany, but one of the pros in Germany is the fact that I don't have to worry about paying, um, you know, five months worth of mortgage to, to for a one uber ride well for a half of a uber ride to a hospital like that that come on that's that's ridiculous ambulance rides in america are so expensive people have started taking ubers to avoid them completely like i said like i said like i said that is a thing that is seriously a thing if pe people would much rather like let's say you get like sh I, I think i saw a video like this too this lady got like shot up in the chest or something like that and she and then she called an uber and the guy's like oh my god and like he didn't he had no idea she was injured and she's like just take me to the hospital and she knew she knew what type of time it was like you know the hospital was on bro they're about to charge her a damn arm and leg no way jose no way jose let's get it it makes sense though Anyone call for an Uber? The next time I needed to be admitted to the hospital, 
driver immediately taking an Uber to the same facility. And was charged $40. Huh. Wait a minute. So was this in Germany? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'm about to go back. The next time I needed to be admitted to the hospital, Uber to the same facility. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So he's basically saying he took an Uber to the same facility from this like from roughly the same area uh, that he was at before, and he only paid forty dollars, whereas beforehand the ambulance tr driving costs literally like they charged him eight thousand dollars. Literally, I don't know why people are so hell bent on ripping off individuals, man. They're so money hungry for no reason, bro. No reason, like. It's ridiculous, bro. It is ridiculous. And it's so unfortunate because a lot of people can't afford these things. So that's how you get like people that uh, have like, you know, debt collectors knocking at their door, you know, things getting repoed and things of that, uh, of that nature. Like the, the fact that we kind of operate and function on a credit system here is, I think, a little bit bullshit, a little bit. In my opinion, just, it's kind of bullshit, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you, do you have you guys experienced, uh, um, you know, I know I know there's some people out in Germany that have seen both sides. So do you, would you say that America's healthcare system is better or Germany's is better and why? Let me know down below. Anybody watching this video can let me know as well in the comments. I'm just very curious. Should not be taking an Uber to get to the hospital. The dude's like, I'm an Uber driver, not a healthcare professional. I'm not an EMT. <laughs> I don't even have Band-Aids in my glove compartment. Oh my God. The reason behind those outrageous costs Pricing depends on location, services, and contracts with insurance companies. So basically, most of the contracts that America um, has with insurance companies, as far as hospitals go, um, they're pretty garbage. In fact, the insurance companies probably charge an arm and a freaking leg. Money, money, money. And people have even reported saying $3,660 um, oh wait, and people have been, have reported paying three thousand six hundred and sixty dollars for a four mile ride to a hospital. Three thousand six hundred and sixty dollars for a four mile ride. Now, like I said, once again, the argument can be that you know there's EMTs on board, there's healthcare professionals, they're taking care of you while you're on the way to the hospital, so they're keeping you alive. And obviously, livelihood is worth a lot of money. Whereas an Uber driver, if you die in the car, he can't really do anything. If 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 you're, if you're injured or whatever, like they can't do anything to help you. Like it's literally you're 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 helpless. About it. That is really weird, though. And you don't find out how much an ambulance will cost you until after you leave the hospital. I know this because it's happened to me before. Until after you leave the hospital. They, they should just tell you up front, hey, sir, would you like to hop in the ambulance? It'll only be $10,000. Hell no. I want to know. Take me somewhere else. Call my friend. I'll, I'll resurrect some people to come take care of me if it costs that much. Uh-uh. You can't get me with that one, chief. Well, watch this. Watch. Until they bill you, which is after you leave the hospital. That's some horse booty. Plus, most insurers will only cover costs when they deem them medically necessary. So something that could be detrimental to you, um, a healthcare provider could be like, nah, it wasn't that serious. You could have been all right. You just, you, you, you playing games, man. You playing games. Like, that's, that is some, that's some BS, bro. That's some, that's some BS. No idea that my health related issue would be so costly. Facts, bro. It's so sad. And an ambulance ride shouldn't break the bank. I agree. Yes, I completely agree. Ambulance ride should be affordable. That is pretty much the comparison, like of the main comparison and contrast. The uh the d main difference, I should say, between America and Germany. The healthcare system seems a lot more structured in Germany to benefit the people than it is here. But I know there are some flip sides to Germany as well. Like you guys, this tax system, in my opinion, is not good, bro. It is not good, <laughs> not good at all. 
um but on the flip side of that you get a lot of benefits because of your tax system so it kind of like i said the grass really isn't greener but it does open our eyes to how things are done in different places like there's a lot of things in america that are not good bro but then there's also a lot of things in america that are wonderful and then vice versa for germany and any other country i don't know let me know what your thoughts and feelings are in the comments down below i was genuinely curious and um it's been really fun kind of diving really uh, a little deeper into this whole this whole thing you know just experiencing this now anyways let me like, that I, I gotta go i'll uh crank out a couple more videos we'll post them up because i got some uh other things i want to kind of find out and stuff and i really need answers to those things that i want to kind of discover and you guys can participate in those videos but until the next time i see you your beautiful faces again take care peace hey what's up did you guys subscribe to the channel did you subscribe to the channel Ah, well, if you haven't, make sure you do that. Also, we do have a Discord. The Discord link is always gonna be in the description down below on any of my videos, and it's dope. What we do on Discord is pretty simple. A lot of you guys are, I'm collecting you guys from a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different places, and you guys wanna teach me a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can join the Discord and teach me anything. You can send me any kind of messages and stuff. You can actually post memes. You can participate in the community and just make friends. Just Go ahead and join the Discord and see what, how, what what kind of situation you're getting into for yourself. Also, there's going to be some giveaways in the future. There's going to be some giveaways. But to create some incentive for that, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Are you guys following me on Instagram? You know what my Instagram looks like? You probably don't know what my Instagram name is. <laughs> it's right there. Just go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's dope. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I, I do live streams every day. I try to, you know, engage with you guys in every way possible. I know a lot of, a lot, not a lot of creators are very engaging with their fan base. I try to be engaging. So just go ahead and check it out. There's no, no harm, no foul. Follow me on Twitter too. I honestly am trying to grow my Twitter. <laughs> but I don't really post that often on there. But when I do, you guys will be the first to see whatever post those will be. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys want shout outs or whatever, I don't know a lot of we have a lot of upcoming independent artists that have been hitting me up as of late I might create a series where I get I favor my international independent artists and stuff and I might promote you guys for free but just it might just be one or two a week you know I and mean, you guys can give me some feedback on that but all to say follow me on my social medias all right if you guys aren't doing that already you need to do that because that's a pretty big deal <laughs> I'll see you guys later but enjoy the content I create it's gonna be random uh, reaction videos a lot of a lot of everything reaction videos vlogs challenges cooking videos gaming videos anything you guys suggest when you join my discord or message me on instagram but i'll see you guys soon take care follow me peace